Hi, welcome to another video. So, Mistral has just announced a new model called Magistral. This is their first reasoning model, and it comes in two versions. Magistral Small, which is open source with 24 billion parameters, and Magistral Medium, which is aimed at enterprise users. The main focus of Magistral is on reasoning and transparency. It's designed to handle multi-step logic, structured calculations, and decision trees, and it tries to make its thought process clear so you can actually follow each step. That's a bit different from most general-purpose models that don't always show you how they arrive at their answers. In terms of benchmarks, Magistral Medium scored 73.6% on AIMI 2024, and with majority voting, it reached 90%. Magistral Small scored 70.7% and 83.3% respectively. So, these are pretty decent numbers, especially for a model that's open source. One of the interesting things about Magistral is its multilingual capability. It can reason natively in languages like English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Arabic, Russian, and simplified Chinese. That means you can get step-by-step -step answers in your own language, which isn't always the case with other models. It's also optimized for speed, especially if you use it in Le Chat with the Flash Answers feature. They claim it's up to 10 times faster than most competitors in terms of token throughput, which is helpful if you're looking for real-time responses. The model is pretty versatile, it's meant for things like legal research, software development, and even creative writing. The idea is that if you need accurate, multi-step reasoning and want to see how the answer was reached, this model is built for that. For regulated industries like legal, finance, healthcare, and government, Magistral provides traceable reasoning, so every conclusion can be audited. That's important if you need to meet compliance requirements. On the technical side, Magistral Small is open weight and available under the Apache 2.0 license, so you can download and run it yourself. Magistral Medium is available through Lesha API and on platforms like Amazon SageMaker, with more cloud options coming soon. They have also shared the research paper for it, which is also really cool for understanding the methodology of how they made it and everything. Both these models are based on the Mistral Small 3 and Mistral Medium 3 models. So, it is basically a thinking version of those models, and they have used reinforcement learning to make them better at reasoning, similar to DeepSeek. These models are also multimodal, which makes them one of the only open reasoning models to be multimodal as well. I would have liked to see the medium model also having open weights, but that isn't the case here, which is fine with me. Also, I tested these models on my questions, and they are quite competitive models and fine at coding as well for most tasks. I would have liked to see them be better, but considering that it's the first reasoning model from them, I won't complain as much they score well, and the small model is also quite good. Now, you can use the small model via Olama and stuff since it's open source, and it's great. But you can also use the medium model for free on their Lusha interface, and it's also free on their API platform's free tier if you share the data, with about one request per second, and with a generous limit of 500,000 tokens per minute and up to 1 billion tokens per month. That's more than enough for most personal and even some small project and team use cases, though they will use your data for training in this case. Their Le Chat platform is also really good, and they have collaborated with Cerebras for the insanely fast inference, which is quite awesome if you ask me, and something that I have been using lately for search, because it feels faster even than perplexity but it depends on how you want to use it. 
The small model is also available on Open Router if you wish to use that. Another thing that I just want to touch upon is Mistral Code, which is a new AI coding assistant that they have built in collaboration with Continue, and it is only for enterprise users for now, which is something you can have a look at as well. Anyway, let me show you how you can use it with RuCode, Klein, and Kilo as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit tasks, and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. You can just go ahead to RuCode or Klein, and then set it up by creating a simple profile and then choosing Mistral or Open Router, and just enter the details over there and select the model, and you should be good to go. They work fine and can do tool calling and stuff, while you can also use them with Kilo, as it gives you the $20 free credit as well if you want to use the paid versions, or if you want to compare it with some paid models. Or you can also just use the other providers here as well, and it has some more cool features, which should also be fine if you use this. So, let's do the inauguration and ask it to make some stuff for me as well. I'm going to just ask it for a simple 3.js car driving game. This is good to test because of all the animations and stuff. Let's send it, and you can see that it goes ahead and starts to do stuff. It can create the pages, do tool calling, and everything like that. In a bit, it will get done. And if we run this, then this actually works and does the stuff. It ain't as good as something like Claude or Gemini, but this is still really good and on par with the previous generation, DeepSeek, which is good to see from Mistral. I have also tested the small model a bit, and it is also really good for local models. It is probably the best currently for local models. And great if you use Olama for model inference and want a good all-rounder model. Then it will be quite good for you as well. I like these new launches and it's good to see. Though I think that Mitral can do much better. And I hope that they build out the large magistral and come out at the top because this is good but not state of the art yet. So we'll see about that. Overall. It's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.